We are learning more about a disturbing story out of Pennsylvania that unfolded overnight. That's right. A 32-year-old man is now facing murder charges for allegedly killing his father and posting the aftermath of his gruesome crime on YouTube. NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter joins us now. Tom, what happened here and what are the charges? Right. So, Morgan, it was a little after 7 p.m. last night when Michael Moan's wife came home to find him deceased. And it was shortly after that or around that time uh, the police began to discover a YouTube video from their son, who's Justin Moan, is the individual who has been charged here. He's been charged with first degree murder. He's received no bail. He's being held and he's in custody with police, as well as a mutilation of a corpse. And that's tied to the very way that the YouTube video begins, which he he says this is the head of Mike Moan, mm. a federal employee over 20 years, and my father. He is now in hell for eternity as a traitor to his country. And from there, he goes on a 14-minute, 34-second rant against the government, against the Biden administration, and he called for the death of all federal employees, and he also put out information uh, in the address of a judge who had ruled against him in, in a civil suit. So it goes from there. We're leaving out, obviously, a, a fair amount of the details not to propagate what this individual was saying. That makes sense. Here's the thing. It took YouTube hours to take down this video. What is the company saying? Yeah, so they put out a statement, and, you know, it's. It, it, I think more questions need to be asked about this, but they did say that it violated their community standards, which is probably uh, a gross understatement mm -hmm. as far as its uh, violence policy and, and, and putting out information about violent extremism. Sometimes they catch it quickly. Sometimes law enforcement gives them a heads up and says, hey, there's a manifesto out there or somebody is actually live streaming a crime, and, and that forces them to take it down. So I don't what the chain of events were here. Clearly, law enforcement knew about the video. They, they were reviewing it. They were reviewing it last night when I talked to uh, some of the detectives that were involved in this specific investigation at the local police department there in Middletown Township. So um, that chain of events is something that uh, probably needs to be looked at. They do say they are trying to stamp out any sort of copies of this from mm. being uh, further distributed on their platform. That's important. Oh, that's important. Yeah, NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter. Tom, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.